research is bringing terrible evidence to light. Antidepressants don't work for most patients. They can actually make their problems worse. They may even cause deadly harm. The most frightening of all, if you're a woman between 40 and 60, chances are about one in four, you're on them. Today, I have only one question. How on earth did this happen? In 1987, a new type of antidepressant was introduced. It was called Prozac, and it revolutionized the way Americans cope with their darker emotions. Imagine a single pill, safe to use and easy to get from your doctor, to cure your depression. Patients couldn't get enough, and prescriptions soared. Soon, a slew of similar drugs hit the market. Today, it's a multi-billion dollar business. About one in ten of us is taking an antidepressant. That's more than 30 billion Americans. But new research has uncovered shocking evidence that these powerful drugs are not helping any more than a placebo. Add to that, some antidepressants have horrible side effects, including nausea, irritability, and sexual dysfunction. They can also increase the risk of birth defects and worse, suicide in teens and young adults. And most alarming, they may actually be changing your brain. What do you need to know about antidepressants before you pop one of these happy pills? Wow. 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 And that's what's happening. And the, the exciting thing about what we're doing here is that we're literally riding on a wave of a major, major paradigm shift. And the power of plus 296 is at the head of that. Up here in Canada, this is a legal product up here. And we have a, a certification, a license to do what we're doing, and we're we're helping people. And Q96, of course, is really moving in here very, very quickly now in Canada, which is a very, very exciting thing to see. And that's our main drive. I licensed our product to Q96 or to Q Sciences because I believe in what they're doing. They have a great vision. I love Darren Hogue and Mark and the great executives there at, uh, at Q Sciences and uh, together we're doing some wonderful things, all of us. But you have an opportunity here to help more people than ever before in preventatives, in helping people to feel better on a daily basis. If you're the proud owner of a brain, you need this product. <laughs> and all I say to people is, you don't have to go out there and and you're a doctor and take down symptoms and do all that nonsense. Just take it and feel better. I do it every day, and I'm proud of that fact. If, if I had a mood disorder, I'm not ashamed to say that. But every day I do this, and uh, it's given me a, 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 a wonderful life where it's so rare that I ever, ever have a flu or a cold. All of my family do it. Um, Gregory might have already told you that according to... to um, the statistics from FDA and Health Canada, one in five people have a diagnosable neurochemical condition like depression, anxiety, stress, or whatever. I have 75 people in my family, in my family, between my first and my second wife. Uh, we have 42 grandchildren, 43, is that right part, 43? 43, and we have nine great-grandchildren, and a lot of those grandchildren are married. <coughs> And the interesting thing about it, they've got their own families coming. And if the stats are true, one out of four of my family should suffer with a mood disorder. I'm here to tell you, none of them do. Not one. We've killed it. Because when you do trade the mothers of a nation, they give birth to healthy children. Not children that are born with ADHD or autism or these crippling disorders. One in 50 children in the United States of America and Canada are born with autism. And you've got such a gift in your hand to go out there and help people. And that's the exciting thing about this. And it's so much fun to help people. And that's what it's all about. I think I've chewed up more, more time than you allowed me. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Let's give him a hand.